Pirates Don't Go to School by Alan MacDonald, illustrated by Magda Brawl. On the salty lobster, the pirates were busy. Swab the poop deck, hollered Pa. Scrape the barnacles, shouted Ma. Mend the mainsail, cried Grandma. And where's my tea, Jake? But Jake was tired of swabbing, scraping, and mending. Pa, when can I go to school? He sighed. School, gasped his family. Pirates don't go to school. School is hard and horrible, growled Pa. It's all rotten work and rotten rules, muttered Ma. And teachers are as mean as sea monsters, warned Grandma. But Jake longed to go and kept on asking. I want to go to school. All right, all right, we surrender, groaned Pa. You can go to school. As and rise, Jake's family rowed him ashore. He had a cookie from Ma and Polly hidden under his hat. Poor little lamb, sniffled Grandma. I hope he'll be all right. The playground was huge. Jake stood all by himself, feeling very small. What if my teacher is a terrible ten-legged sea monster? He worried. Suddenly, a giant shadow loomed over him. Jake gulped. You must be Jake, smiled Miss Cherry. Come and meet the class. Ahoy there, mates, said Jake, raising his hand. Half politely, but he forgot in what was underneath. Polly woke up with a screech and took off. Squawk! Good heavens! Gasped Miss Cherry. Oh no! Cried Jake. Come back, you pesky parrot! Come back, a parrot! A parrot! They chased Polly into the gym, right in the middle of class. Heavy ho, mates! Cried Jake. I have her cornered. Quick as a monkey, he climbed up a rope. But Polly didn't wait to be caught. Oh dear! Sighed Miss Cherry. Blow me down! Moaned Jake. Squawk! See you later. Come back, you pesky parrot. Come back. Outside, Jake hunted high and low. Where is that feather-brained bird? He sighed. There she is! Cried a girl. Look out! The principal hit the. Deck as Polly swooped low across the playground, sink me," groaned Jake. "What now?" But then he had an idea. Taking out his cookie, he broke off some crumbs. "Hey, Polly, look what I've got!" he called. Polly's eyes shone greedily. Cookies were her favorite. With a squawk, she took off. "Polly wants a cookie." And landed on Jake's hand. Thank heaven! Sighed Miss Cherry. Hooray! Cheered the class. That pesky parrot came back. Who's a clever Polly? Jake knew he was in big trouble. Pesky parrots were sure to be against the rotten rules. Miss Cherry folded her arms. Well, Jake, what should we do now? Send me home, mumbled Jake. Miss Cherry laughed. I have a much better idea. Who likes to sing? Me! Shouted Jake. Because singing is one thing pirates love best. Paints and brushes out. Time to do some painting. Said Miss Cherry. Follow me, mates! Cried Jake. Because pirates love to make a mess. By story time, Jake had forgotten his worries about the rotten rules and getting into trouble. He listened to Miss Cherry read a tale about treasure buried deep on Pirate Island. Even Polly seemed to like it. When school was over, Jake's family stood waiting at the gate. Well, Jake, they said, was school hard and horrible? No, cried Jake. I want to go again. And he told them all about his day. Well, boil my. Bed socks," cried Pa. "It sounds like one big adventure. Maybe school is for pirates after all." So the next day, when Jake went back, he brought along his entire family. 
Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe.